This is your host, Sapna Bharti, and today we have with us Hilary Carter, VP of Research at the Linux Foundation. Hilary, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks, Swab. It's great to be here. The Linux Foundation recently launched Research Division to basically explore uh, open source ecosystem and impact. Uh, can you talk a bit about what is the genesis, what is the, what the foundation of this initiative at the Linux Foundation? No pun intended. None taken at all. It's, uh, you know, we find ourselves in an an incredibly um, exciting and challenging time. And I think coming out of uh, 2020 with the COVID-19 pandemic, I, I, you know, I think the world accelerated uh, to digital and the need to on-ramp very, very quickly to remote work and Zoom conferencing and hybrid content delivery models and all of the fast tracking to digital just highlighted how important software is to our our functionality and and to um, our ability to transact and to communicate and to stay connected. And so that was very enlightening on the one hand. Um, On the other hand, we had um, a pandemic that also drove home the need to have functioning supply chains and technologies around those supply chains. uh, shareable data frameworks, consent frameworks around traceability of, of health records, um, COVID notifications, and so on. And I think, uh, you know, we also need software that is secure. And having technologies that we trust will help us fight a pandemic uh, more effectively than than not. And so, given the year that was, and on the heels of the SolarWinds security breach, um, a lot of these pain points in our software supply chains and our, our goods and services supply chains were exposed. Um, so take those two factors into consideration. And um, I think they were very um, important in the context of setting up a research division that we needed to better understand um, the open source paradigm and how it fits into uh, the the global global software um, issues around supply chain security and uh, our ability to to fight a pandemic. I think that is um, those were two factors that that influenced the need to establish uh, a research division. When we do look at open source, I mean. Since it's so pervasive, everybody's using open source. So when we do talk about research in the ecosystem, there can be so many things we can talk about. We can talk about, hey, okay, companies are using open source, but are they uh, using some best practices? Do they have, I mean, you, Linux Foundation also have the open source program office training, you know, are they properly dealing with open source? It can also be about, hey, are they using the proper license? It could also be about, uh, what kind of practices they have. And of course, it could also be about understanding, hey, how companies are consuming open source. So this this is such a huge, massive field. So I'm just trying to understand that what exactly are you trying to achieve with this division? Yeah, beyond the security project, for example, we have so much content that we can investigate. And in fact, the challenge will be to define the initial scope of the research because as you say, there are so many incredible topics that we can investigate. What is the path to open source ecosystems? How does an organization move from a closed innovation model to an open innovation model? What are the opportunities? What are the challenges? What is the role of the open source program office? Um, How does open source collaboration uh, change business models? And what open source ecosystems are more effective than others in both addressing some of the world's most critical challenges, but also in applying some best practices. Whose practices are working really well? Whose communities are inclusive? Whose communities are growing? So by no means are we limiting the research program to security. I simply mean to say that it's one of the most important challenging challenges that research must address. Um, but the opportunities to cast the net really wide and to go deep into the subject matter are quite uh, phenomenal. What is going to be the nature of this initiative? Is it uh, 
a foundation with the Linux foundation, it is just a division because then we look at the format of Linux foundation. There are foundations within Linux foundation. So is this going to be yet another foundation or is just one subsection of the broader Linux foundation? Yeah, we're not ourselves a unique foundation. We are a support project. So we are supporting the broader work of, of Linux foundation as a whole. Uh, research will be available to um, both Linux Foundation members, but also the general public. Um, but yeah, we're not going to register ourselves as a separate entity. We are a supporting unit of the parent. Linux Foundation has a massive family of companies, other projects that, so how are you plan to collaborate with them or you're going to work like independently and, and collect all the data and analysis or you are going to engage with the Linux Foundation members? Yeah, wonderful question. The objective of Linux Foundation research is to engage our ecosystem, to engage our members, to engage our contributor communities so that we can create a program that adds value across um, the organization, across the whole ecosystem. We want to be able to determine collectively how can Linux Foundation research add value to the ecosystem and how can the ecosystem add value to Linux Foundation research. And so by working together with the specific project um, leadership teams and to co-create research, that is certainly going to form part of our program. We will have our own core research initi initiatives like our security project, but we will also work on a number of project specific research reports um, that, that engage uh, the broad ecosystem. You did allude to that earlier, but I just want to go a bit deeper into what are your immediate projects that you will uh, start with? So the first project, we actually have a survey in the field right now. It is a collaboration with the Soda Foundation. It's a software, it is, excuse me, storage and data focused open source ecosystem. And they want to explore trends in data and storage and uh, produce um, their findings, our findings, in time for uh, the SodaCon uh, conference, which takes place in July. So that's an example of one of the first collaborations that we will do with one of our projects. Similarly, we'll be working with Hyperledger. Um, Hyperledger is our, our uh, blockchain uh, focus project and Hyperledger turned five. Um, in December of last year. And that ecosystem has grown tremendously. Uh, they're conducting a brand study with LF Research to better understand how well is uh, Hyperledger known as a leading uh, blockchain uh, open source community? How uh, well are the projects known? There are a number of different frameworks, a number of different tools that are available. Are they recognizable? Are they confused perhaps with some uh, crypto protocols? What are the opportunities and challenges? So that's another project that is going to um, come forward this year. And similarly with um, uh, Finos, our FinTech and open source uh, project, uh, they are focusing on understanding opportunities for the financial services sector and open source. That is an incredibly a uh, burgeoning community, and there are a lot of exciting opportunities that are just getting started within that industry. So those are three examples of project-specific collaborations that we'll be moving forward this year. We will be exploring open source paradigm, the open source paradigm from the context of industry analyses, technology uh, horizontals, and um, the ecosystem at large. There has been a Cambrian explosion in terms of new projects that are coming under the Linux Foundation umbrella. Uh, two examples being the Academy Software Foundation. Uh, the fact that the film industry is working with the Linux Foundation to create shared technologies for uh, the entertainment industry is really something that, that most people would not equate with. When you think of Linux, you don't necessarily think of the film industry. Um, same thing for some of our climate uh, initiatives or uh, projects that are, are um, dedicated to solving issues around racial injustice. And what are, the, what are the tools that we can create together 
for shared value to try to solve some of these really important social challenges, not just technology challenges. Hillary, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about this new initiative within the Linux Foundation. I, I fully agree with you that as much open source as we are creating, uh, Linux Foundation is playing a critical role there. We do need to tap into, collect some data that, you know, uh, yeah, it's about time that we should understand and help ecosystem with all the problem that you mentioned there. So thanks for talking to me today and I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. Thanks so much, Bob. It's been a pleasure.